what I do is I'll, I'll look down at like the city lights and it's why I like being on the top of mountains and just like being able to overview everything because it just gives me a whole different perspective that I originally wouldn't have had. But like I look out and I'm just like, how many people are doing what they truly want to do versus how many people are living for somebody else? I was always living for somebody else and that's why I had to make the change because I was like, I want to live for me because me is the one person that I have to be with for my entire life. So I might as well like that person. Whereas if I would say like going by and doing what other people were telling me to do, then it's like, am I really living for me or am I living for somebody else? Being 27 here, dude, it's really strange. Because I see all my friends like either they're getting married, have kids, have animals or pets. And then I'm over here hiking and making YouTube videos. And I used to think that that was a bad thing. I felt like it was the wrong thing for me to do. I felt like I wasn't living my life in the right way because I was trying to live my life for other people. Recently, I've been thinking that I'm living my life in the way that I know how to live my life. And there isn't one right way to live life. Like a friend of mine, he told me, he's like, yeah, that's just living. I was like, interesting. Because the way that I view the world and the way that I live, I think is different. It's different from how a lot of people around me seem to be living their lives. Because for me personally, dude, I love to be out here. I love being out in the wind, in nature. I just, I seem to live a different life than most people do. At least from everybody else that I, that I have surrounded myself with. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's just the way that I have lived my life. It's just for some odd reason. I, think that I had to like have the house, or have the job, be doing something different than what I was doing. I think I've come to realize that the way that I live my life is the right way for me. And the way that you live your life is the right way for you. There's always going to be people that are going to be saying, oh, you should go check out this place, or you need to go to here, and I get that, like I do. I just, I wish that people would ask me questions like I asked them. I'll just ask myself the questions and come to the realization because it's just interesting. Everybody's going to be telling me. At least I, I can kind of sense it a little bit. I was talking about this with my buddy on my on the podcast that I do. She's like, do you feel like some people are thinking that you aren't doing the right thing? And I think I'm like, yeah, a little bit. Slightly. In some regards. I just find this to be more peaceful. And is it wrong? No. I've just come to realize that I view my life, the things that I do in a different manner. It's like I'm 27, I'm not dating, not particularly at least like, I mean if the right girl comes along then yeah by all means I will. But what I end up doing is I just, I like go to the hot springs or I'll go on hikes or runs or go to the gym or do yoga, or go on bike rides. And then I see all these other people that are, like they're getting married, they're getting long-term committed relationships, they're starting businesses. They're doing all these incredible things. And then I look at myself and I'm like, oh, I'm not doing anything with my life. Like I'm comparing myself to all these other people with the successes that they have. But in reality, I look at myself and I'm like, I'm happier than I've ever been. It's weird, it's a different feeling that I guess I'm not fully accustomed to. I just live my life in a different way, I think, than most people do. Because I've always been the outcast. I never really fit in with a whole bunch of people. Like, I, I can talk with anybody, anywhere. It's just I've never felt like, I was a part of this one specific community because 
I always seem to evolve and grow and change my circumstances. And I know I'm supposed to be talking this way, with the sun <laughs> in front of my face. Um, so that's kind of a challenging thing because I'm walking this way, but I know that the sun should be in front of me. Um, but yeah, dude, it's just like, it's tough, man, it's tough. I guess the big thing that I've walked away from is like, there is no right way to live my life. Everybody can say, oh, I should do this, or I should try that, or I should go here, or I should go there. At the end of the day, I'm the one that gets to decide what I do. Being 27, society just has told us, but like our generations have kind of changed from like our parents' generation compared to like my generation and compared to like my sister's generation. Like it's all changed. I guess I look at it in terms of, I might as well do what makes me happy and the thing that brings me the most amount of fulfillment and if a woman comes into my life, a woman comes into my life. If I create a successful YouTube channel, I create a successful YouTube channel. All I can say is I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna give up. And that's why I look at it in terms of like, you're gonna hate me before you love me because a lot of the exercises that I do, say like from biking, running, lifting weights, or hot yoga, it's like in the moment, it's miserable. It's, ter it's, it's just, it's, it's challenging. Afterwards, there's this euphoric feeling of like, wow, Okay, I want to do that again and that's how I look at my interpersonal relationships and the relationships that I have with myself too is like in the time like it's gonna hurt kind of like how a forest is like say set on fire or set ablaze it burns so hot and it destroys everything and yet afterwards we are presented with this natural new soil that can grow new trees that wouldn't have been able to grow in the first place so it's like we have to break down those aspects in order to grow into something new The weird part about this whole thing is, I think a lot of it does come down to my own reflection of myself and me maybe not being able to look within and I always been trying to change other people. And it's strange because it's just like, I know that there's nobody else to change other than self and here I am trying to change other people. I think it's because I wasn't willing to change myself or look at myself in the mirror. Whereas as of late, that's all I've been doing. I'm like, you know, I can't change you, I can't change your perspective, I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. What I can do is I can change myself. I can put myself in uncomfortable situations, such as hiking when it's windy and cold outside, going on a run, going into the hot springs and like immersing myself in like self-healing and like the process of grieving over say unfulfilled dreams or unfulfilled like chapters in one's life. Because there's this concept in the West where it's called cognitive drains and you can overcome both of these either by accomplishing said goal or by grieving over said process. So when I see my friends that are say in their 20s or in their 30s now and they're getting married, they have a house, they're buying these things, like they're doing the quote unquote right th thing. I look at myself and I'm like, hmm, am I not living life in accordance to the way that I should be? Then I remind myself, it's like, no, I'm living life in the exact way that I want to be living my life and I'm on the exact timetable that I need to be. I'm just grateful to be where I am right now and it just, it pains me and hurts me when people close to me decide to belittle me for the work that I do or don't fully acknowledge it. And I get it, like I've never really truly shared the things that I've gone through, the things that I've done with other people because I've always done it on my own. I've never felt like I've needed to share other people share with other people because what I have done to get to the place to where I'm at right now from what I know it broke me a lot it also made me a lot stronger in the process and from people and conversations that I've had with others if I brought them through the same training regimen or the same mental struggles or the same disciplinary things that I have done I don't think they'd be able to withstand it I felt a sense of guilt for quite some time with me doing what I do, like making YouTube videos, making content, and pursuing my dream. So I've talked with a lot of other people, and they just don't seem to be very happy doing what they're doing, or they're just like, they're just going through the motions, in a sense. And I have to constantly remind myself and reframe that situation by being like, dude, you dedicated six years of your life, you gave up TV, you gave up eating certain types of food, 
read lots of books, listened to podcasts, did lots of meditation, self-inquiry work that not a lot of people do. I have to constantly remind myself because even the conversation that I had with my friend when we were going to the Springs the other day, he's like, yeah, no, most people don't do it. I do. Like whenever I'm walking around my apartment or I'm walking around at night, like I'll look up into people's windows just because of something that I do. And basically every single time I see a TV on or somebody playing video games, I'm like, okay. So I don't necessarily have to feel guilty because I have put in the work. I do have the knowledge and I do have the skill set to be able to chase after what I'm wanting. And I do deserve it because I have sacrificed certain period of my life to be able to be at a place such as this and I just don't think it's a sacrifice that I haven't seen it to be a sacrifice that other people will take because they're comfortable doing what they're doing there's nothing wrong with that just for me intrinsically and me personally I didn't want to be living a life where I felt small inferior and insignificant any longer I guess I just look at it in terms of there isn't one right place to be in your 20s. to me now that they once didn't and it's just interesting because like I had this whole plan and I still do and it's still it's just, I think it's just what I have done like I'm now I'm talking about like these are my personal experience and my thoughts and I'm allowing myself to be seen for the first time and either people will like or they won't but I can't control what somebody else thinks of me that's not my task, that's not my duty. I have offended other people in the past, and like, yes, it does pain me because sometimes the things that they say, like, they are true, and then I make those improvements. It's just like, I'd rather fail, mess up, make a small little correction, and then end up at the destination that I need. I think I was afraid to fail in the past, at least in the traditional sense. Like, I would label myself as a failure, Instead of just being like, oh, I just didn't see this through all the way to the end. Or I'm just not at the place. I'm not doing the right actions to help me get to the, set, to the right destination. I think that's the difference that I've made within my life. Is instead of comparing myself to other people, I'm just going to compare myself to who I was yesterday. And as long as I'm making small incremental improvements, that's all I can do. I can't worry about what other people think or what other people are saying about my life even though it does pain me and it does hurt me it's just it's not worth my time and energy to put too much thought actually to put any thought onto the opinions of others dude my hands are like frozen right now i don't know many people that would do what i do like i'm hiking when it's windy out it's cold out right now I'm saying what's up to this dude hey man um and i'm just having like a different time i feel like sometimes people will come around and i don't want to say they ruin the vibe but sometimes i'm like dude i just want quiet we're not to talk about this person let's talk about ideas concepts ways to improve something that you're struggling with not what joe smith is struggling with and i feel like a lot of people in their later 20s that i said are getting married having kids and just friends that i've talked with they seem to talk about those things. I've just never found any value in any conversations like that. I guess I've just come to realize that, and I was in these shoes as well too, because I always, always think that other people weren't living their lives in the right way. So in turn, that meant that I wasn't living my life in the right way. But being in my 20s and just looking around, everybody's living their life in the way that they want to be living their life. What's up, man? Hey, what? So it's just a different approach than how I've been doing things in the past. Look at myself instead of 
looking outside of myself nowadays. What's up, guys? Like some people, they want to stay inside. And that's cool. I do that some days. And there's other days when I come outside and I go on a hike. I sit in nature. I absorb the energies around me to see what happens. And I like the life that I live. Like, I love being able to get out here and do these types of things. And I, I guess I'm afraid that if I found a girlfriend and her and I got married, would I be able to do these things? I don't know. I think that comes down to me setting clear boundaries and identifying, like, hey, I got to do this for me. Like, you can come along if you want to, but, like, you might get bored halfway through. Or you might absolutely love it and figure something else about yourself that you didn't know to be true. That's what I've always done. Like, the winds, the earth meditation everything's always spoken to me in different ways oh no and that's why i was worried yeah, well that's a bummer okay cool we aren't completely i got a little nick on the lens but we're chilling it's just for me like i look out and i see like this whole world and i'm just like could I keep doing this if I was in a relationship? If I was, if I did have a dog, like obviously I take my dog with me and I take my girl with me too. It's just also like, I'd rather have her live her life and we just come together as one. It's just so weird, dude. Everybody has like, everybody's living their own individual lives, doing their own individual things. And everything online is telling us, oh, this is how you make money, or this is how you become successful, or this is what you should do, or these are the correct ways to do business. It's like, well, what if I don't want to do them that way? What if I want to do them my way? What if I want to do them in a different way than has been done in the past? And I get that, like, there's a framework and there's a structure that that's why it's there. But it's like, there's been so many things that have changed and evolved with time. Why can't content and the world do the exact same? Or not even the world, but myself. If I had to give a takeaway, it would be that not to worry so much or concern myself with the thoughts of others, because I don't even know the thoughts of others. So it's my thoughts I'm creating that I think others would have of me, unless say they say the thing to me and then I ruminate on said thought. But like, why do that? It doesn't serve me any good. It just takes a mental space that I could be doing something more beneficial and productive with. And that's also subjective, but it's just like, why, why give somebody else the power over my mind when I can have that power myself? So like, yeah, I'm in my late twenties. Maybe I'm not living my life in the way that society deems correct, but I feel like that's the luxury of the internet. And that's the luxury of like the world that we live in nowadays. We don't have to structure our lives in the same way as our parents or our grandparents did. We can structure our lives in the ways that we want to, that we find benefit and we find value in. And that's why it's just like, it scares me because luckily like when I got out on my own and I was living out in Grand Junction for a couple of years, I got to be away from like what I grew up from, which it was very beneficial because like I got to see things and meet different people and do different experiences than I ever had as a kid. And I'm just worried that the people that stay in their hometown or the people that stay in one place and don't try new things are going to be stuck and stagnant. It worries me too because it's like if I stay here, am I never going to amount to my potential? But then again, it's like, it's what is potential really? Because like me making these videos, like this is me trying to live up to my potential. So it's just like I can dream and I can think and I can imagine and I can idolize all these things until I take action on them. They don't really mean anything. And that's why when I see my friends that are in their, say, 20s, later 20s, 30s, who are married, in relationships, 
have a house, have dogs, have kids, whatever it may be. Like I look at them and I'm just like, is that the life that I want? I think I do. I just also like this life as well too. So it's a matter of me being able to figure out how I can do both of them. And it's a process, dude, but it's just like, when I look out and I see how much land and how much space there is, there's room for everybody, for everything, and anyone can do anything that they want to do. So it's like, why sell myself short and limit my potential to the bare minimum when I could have anything and everything that I want? 